Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to rank on Google Maps. That's this area right here. Please excuse me for not putting the camera on today. Uh, I have the sun blaring right on my face and I couldn't get a good camera angle. But I'm going to show you three things that you need to do to rank and about two or three tricks at the end. So just watch this. So here are the three things that you must know. You must know how to set up your website. I'm going to show you that in this video. You m must know what categories to pick for your Google business profile. And I'm going to show you how to get reviews. If you could just do those three things, plus one or two other small things, I guarantee you'll rank in Google Maps. All right, so step one, you're going to put your main keyword into Google just like this. So if your main keyword is that you're a DUI lawyer or you're a plumber or you're an electrician, right, or you're a plastic surgeon, you're going to put that main keyword right here into Google. And here's where you're going to look. See this section right here underneath the name? You're going to look for two things. You're going to look for uh, the category. This is the category where I'm pointing and how many reviews your competitors have. So you need to know the category and you need to know how many reviews your competitors have. Hey guys, if you like videos like this, please like and subscribe. It helps get my videos out to more people. So number one, we're going to work on the website. So the website should be, this is your homepage. I just created something in board mix so you could see. So everything on your homepage is always your area. So, for example, if you're in Nashville, Tennessee, and your first GMB category. So, Nashville, Tennessee's top-rated DUI lawyer, right? Tampa, Florida's top-rated power washer. It's always the area first. Then you could say uh, Google five-star rated or top-rated, right? And then it's your GMB category. Everything on your homepage, as you scroll down, everything on your homepage is about your category and your area. That's the only thing that should be on your homepage. Okay, so we got everything on the homepage about the area that you service, and then you have your GMB category. Now you need your second, third, and fourth GMB category. So how do you get them? Well, very simple. You could get them this way for free by just clicking more businesses and you could see your competition and you will see all the GMB categories that it, they have. You see over here it says criminal justice attorney. But as you start to scroll down, it may say trial lawyer. See over here it just says attorney, right? So you could grab them that way, attorney over here. I use a tool called GMB Everywhere. And what GMB Everywhere does is it, um, it goes behind the scenes and pulls out all the categories that everybody's using. So, for example, uh, Morris Law may have more than one category, and it's really hard to find it without using this tool. So right here, you only see criminal justice. But because I have... GMB everywhere, I have these buttons that you don't have, right? I think you get five free searches for free. So in the description below, uh, I'll, I'll put the link. I don't have a, uh, I, I don't get paid for it, all right? So you'll notice that Morris Law Firm right here, see criminal justice attorney is their first, their second one is law firm, their third is attorney, and their fourth is legal services. So what I do, what I'll do is criminal justice attorney is number one. So everything on your homepage is about criminal justice attorney or your GMB category, whatever your main GMB category is. But your second one would be law firm if in fact you are a lawyer. You may be an electrician, so you have to go to you know, your competition and, and see what they pick. So your second one is, is, um, is, is what did I say the second one was? Uh, law firm. Okay, so your first category right here should say law firm. The first set of links, instead of home or about us, it should say law firm. That's your second GMB category. Your third GMB category is attorney. So right underneath here should say attorney. 
And then your last one is legal services. So now you take this and here are your GMB categories. They go right under your first set of links are your GMB categories. Your second set of links are all the keyword pages that you're trying to rank for, right? So everything that has to do with DUI lawyer or everything that has to do with criminal law or legal services, these are your keyword pages. Everything that's appropriate for that, okay? Now, your areas you serve are just that. If you're in Tampa, Florida, right, you don't, serve Jacksonville, Florida. It's a six hour drive. You want to go somewhere 15, 20 minutes out. And those are the cities and towns that you want to start with servicing. So you write content about those areas. Then your fourth set of links are your portfolio, the work that you've done, if that's appropriate, like power washers, roofers, people that uh, do gutters or, or garage doors. Right. They have a portfolio of areas that they uh, of, of jobs they've done. And you want to write about the area that you did them. So, for example, if you did a job at 1010 Main Street next to the Main Street Post Office, you want to write about that because Google will give you credit for working in that area. Right. That was a nugget right there. So you could develop that a little bit more on your own. But that's what you want to do. You, you don't want to just have a portfolio page where you show your work. You also want to tell about it and you want to tell the area that you're in. Your next set of links could be anything, FAQ and contact us or a blog. But you always want your contact us last. You want your phone number as big as possible because people as old as me can't see these little these little fonts that most of you guys have on your on your websites, you have to have it nice and big and you want to put the credit cards that that you accept underneath your phone number so people know what credit cards you accept. So next, you're going to log into your Google business profile, right? Because your website's done. You're going to log into your Google business profile and now you're going to hit this button right here that says edit profile and this is where you're going to put your GMB categories. See where it says business categories? And remember we used the GMB everywhere tool to get our categories? Well, for every category that you add, you need to make sure that you have a page on your website for that category. That's why I said your first set of links are your GMB categories. Your first link is your home page. Your second, third, fourth, as many as you have, I, I don't believe in going any more than five. Those are your GMB categories. Those are your first set of links. Here are your GMB categories. Okay. There's a lot to the GMB categories like posts and, uh, and services. But if you just fill this area out, first of all, there's nothing more important than the GMB categories. Do that. That's 90% of your GMB. Fill out all your all your areas every put your hours so put 24 hours if you're a service-based business add your hours and just fill this out that's all you have to do for your google business profile so you're into this eight minutes and 47 seconds i showed you how to set your website up and i showed you how to set your google business profile up the last thing is your reviews so if you want to get into Google Maps and stay there, you need reviews. Each review needs to uh, have a keyword, uh, the service that you provided. So for example, let's take a look at this review. I won't read the whole review, but let's take a look at the keywords that we used in yellow. They used the name of the uh, law office called the law place. They used the word helpful. They used the keyword DUI timely manner i would recommend it them in any situation this is a perfect review so the best way to get reviews is to send your client the review link and the way to do that is just to go to business.google.com 
and you'll show up right here, which is your, uh, your control panel for your Google business profile. You click right here where it says ask for a review and there are two ways you could send your client a review link. You could copy and paste it right here by just clicking this square icon or you could send them the QR code, which you could have printed on business cards, flyers, or even on stickers. So this is an example of a grid map. I'm using Eldar Cohen's localdominator.co. I suggest you go out and get this um, grid map software. It lets you know where you're ranking and where you're not ranking. So over here in the green section is where you're ranking. However, in the red section, this is where you're not ranking. And you'll notice where my mouse is pointing. It says Greenpoint Mall, and you're not ranking in Greenpoint Mall, but you'd like to rank in that section. So I'm going to show you how to send a link to your customer to show that they were searching by the Greenpoint Mall and they were looking for you. It doesn't look natural to Google if every single one of your 50 reviews, you sent them the link. Here's what I mean. There are times where clients aren't happy with your service. You don't have to send them a review link for them to find a review, find your review and review your business, right? They'll Google a couple of keywords, find your business and write you a one star review, right? So. What we're doing here is we're showing that somebody wanted to find, in this case, a lawyer by the Greenpoint Mall, right? So we're not sending them this review link. What we're sending them is a string as if they searched for a lawyer by the Greenpoint Mall. So if you want to be found by a certain bridge or you want to be found in, you know, you want to be found in this red area, you have to find, you know, malls, airports, see the George, George Bush Airport right here. Like you have to find, uh, um, you know, locations here that are prominent and add them to the, to the Google string. So here's what we do. This will make sense. This will make sense to you. So what we do here is we just type in law firms near Greenpoint Mall, Houston, Texas. Right. And we find the firm that we want to write the review for. It's right here. Now, in this long string shows Google that I was looking for a, a law firm by the Greenpoint Mall, Houston, Texas. But I can't send somebody this long string. They'll look, it'll look crazy, right? So what I do is I come over to tiny URL and I'm gonna send them the short link. And I'll put tiny URL in the description below so you'll be able to uh, use that if you'd like. It's a free service. So you click shorten URL and here's my short URL. I copy it. Now, when somebody clicks that link, it shows Google that somebody came to Google, typed in uh, law firms by Greenpoint Mall, Houston, Texas, and now they're writing the review. So Google's not constantly being sent their review link. It shows that people are looking for you by a certain place and they're writing a review by going to Google, not necessarily always by the review link. So there are people out there saying, well, what about backlinks? What about backlinks? You need backlinks. You don't really need a lot of backlinks, but here are two essential that you do need. You need citations. Citations are directories like Yelp, Angie's List, Thumbtack, Merchant Circle, yellow pages right those are directories when you're listed in those directories with your name address and phone number those are called citations and um the best place to get them i in my opinion the best place to get it is the hoth so i have no affiliation with them they have no idea who i am i'm not making any money through them i, I should start selling citations but just come over to the hoth click products and go to citation building. Now, 
If you've changed your location over the past several years and you used to be at 1010 Maple Street and now you're at 1010 Main Street, you need your citations cleaned up. Because what Google does is it spiders out throughout the web and it wants to know, wants to make sure that you're at that location that's on your website and in your Google business profile. Okay, so go over to the Hoth and and I would get one of their uh, citation programs, right? And 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 get that. The next thing you want to do is come over once again. I have no uh, no affiliate with these this company, Magic PR. They are the best. They are the best press release company that I've I've done research on, right? So come over to Magic PR. They'll write a press release of 500 or 750 words. It has to be written in the third person as if somebody was writing about you. Uh, they'll write the content, I believe, or you could probably have AI write it. And you want to include your name, address, and phone number, your NAP, in the press release article. That's super important. That's going to go out to Yahoo Finance and Market Watch and MSN and... You know all the popular, uh, uh, all the po all the popular uh, uh, places on the web. So you definitely want to do those two things. In regards for your backlinks, right now. Now this is just the simple stuff. This is going to get you ranked. This is the simple stuff. Make sure your website's on point. The way that we set it up in the beginning. Rewatch that. Scroll back to the beginning. Set your website up correctly. Make sure you have the right. Google business profile categories. That's really simple. Don't worry about Google posts and, and products and all that. I'm just saying like right now in the beginning, write a description for your business and, and make sure you include the correct hours, the correct address, and upload some pictures in your Google business profile. That's all you have to do. Then you need to get reviews. You need to get reviews. That's super important. Make sure that the reviews have your keyword, have your business name, have your name, have that you're uh, helpful and, and you're on time and, you know, all those, you know, all those little keywords. Then you want to come over. You need some backlinks. The two best places to get backlinks, especially to start, are the Hoth. These are, you'll get your citations here. And then you get your press releases through Magic PR. Now, when you write your, your article for Magic PR, this is very, very important. You want it written, especially if this is the first time you wrote a press release, you want it written on two things, your location and your first GMB category. So your location is Houston, Texas, let's just say. And your category is criminal justice attorney. That's what you want your, your uh, press release written on. You want to write it on what you have on your homepage. Super important. If this is your first one, write it, write it on your location and your first GMB category. You do the things that I say. I promise you're going to be right up to the top of, uh, of Google Business Profile. This is how I rank all my clients. This is it. This is the formula. This is the formula. I, I probably did it in less than 25 minutes. I used to watch hours and hours and hours of video of nonsense. This is simple. This is how you rank. Guys, I hope this video helped you. If there's anything that I could do to, to help you, you see I have my cell number here. You could also go to my website and just uh, click the talk to me. And um, we can set up a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Let's hang out. What are we doing? Let's hang out with one another. Let's get to know one another. Maybe I could help you. Maybe I could point you in the right direction. Be good to your family. Take care of your wife and your kids. And we will see you tomorrow.